Hey guys, sitting here in the airport. I just wanted to talk about something really briefly um, that I'm having a challenge with. Uh, well, that I'm overcoming. Um, I'm here visiting my property in Houston, um, in the Woodlands. Um, it's an Airbnb. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about automation. Uh, really, it's not too hard to manage a property from a distance. You can totally do it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Uh, I think you just have to put the right systems in place. Uh, so what are the big ones that you need to have in place? Well, number one, you should have a, gotta have a good team, right? Uh, have a good relationship with your handymen, um, your contractors, your cleaning staff. Uh, make sure that they uh, they are pretty much running your business for you and they are your boots on the ground and will be taking care of a lot of things for you uh, even more so uh, more than just doing the cleaning and maybe taking care of maintenance and repair stuff there will be other things that come up that you will have to lean on some of those relationships that you have there and uh, if you have good relationships in place those people will be happy to do those things for you so that's number one Number two is being able to have good internet service and good automations for certain systems in the house. Uh, number one should be uh, your front door lock, uh, having a good uh, lock that you can provide uh, key codes to guests or giving them access, remote access through their cell phone. Um, also for our house in particular, because the garage is on a different side of the uh, front door of the house, we have to have uh, remote access for the garage door. Uh, so we use MyQ app, um, and it's worked out pretty good so far. Um, gives the guests remote access to the garage door, so they can basically have access to the garage door or the front door um, upon their choosing. Uh, second is having good uh, security cameras uh, around the front of the house so you can monitor the front door and the garage door to see if people are uh, doing things they're not supposed to do, giving, um, especially, you know, parties in the house, you're trying to prohibit a lot of that. Um, so you can watch people coming in and out of the house and making sure they're you know, the right amount of guests are coming in, not too many people are coming in, and they're not bringing in tons of other things like, uh, for, you know, parties, beer cans, red cups, bringing in cakes, uh, tons of people coming in. Uh, if you can catch it early, you can take action and try to prevent, you know, or limit the amount of damage they're about to do in your property. Uh, so that's another thing. Um, so having good internet, for us out here we have Xfinity uh, security. Uh, one tip here guys is that when you're at a distance and your internet or your security goes down or your uh, remote access to your front door or your uh, garage, whatever it may be, and it's going to happen, guys. It will definitely happen. Uh, what you need to do is have some type of device at the house, uh, whether it's a cell phone, whether it's a tablet, a computer, uh, have something that can be easily accessed by the technician so that when they have to come, and take a look at some some of these yeah. things. They have some device that they can link up uh, to the device and reset the Wi-Fi settings uh, as part of their troubleshooting. Um, I had to learn this the hard way. We just had a power outage recently and we lost a lot of remote access to our devices. Uh, we had the technicians come out and they really couldn't do anything without resetting uh, the Wi-Fi to the device. So um, what I did was went ahead and 
bought just a cheap tablet from Walmart, uh, downloaded the apps. The, you know, for us, it's MyQ, August, Lock app, uh, Xfinity. So now when we call a technician out, we can have him access that particular tablet. He can log in, reset the internet, reset those devices, and see if that was the problem. Uh, that is a huge thing. Uh, that is part of completely automating your property and doing it at a distance, uh, which is important. So for us, we have this property here in Houston, Texas. We live in California and we're managing it just fine with a couple hiccups, uh, a couple of hurdles every now and then. But we're learning and we improve with every every challenge that has come our way with it. And so far, so good. We've done a great job. Haven't had any big problems. And the problems that we did have, like parties in the house, uh, maybe some repairs needed, we had the team in place and we had all of the automation for the property where we were able to fix problems right away. So just some food for thought, and I hope that tip helps you guys. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.